Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of Math Olympiad Challenging Problems, we will be solving, rather to say, we will be simplifying one expression x power 4 minus 6 x cube minus 2 x square plus 18 x plus 23 divided by x square minus 8 x plus 15. If x is known, square root 19 minus 8 root 3. We have to simplify this one. This question is from Math Olympiad 2007 junior paper. So let's get started. I will consider this term. C19 minus 8 root 3 I am taking. I will split 19 in 16 plus 3. Rest would be as it is. 16 can be written as 4 square. 3 what we can write? Root 3 square. And C, minus sign in between, this is A square, this is B square. Let us check twice AB, two times our A is 4, B is square root 3. So yes, it is A square plus B square minus twice AB. So this one is A minus B whole square. So I can write our expression 4 minus square root 3 whole square. Okay. So now let's write our x. x value will be square root of 4 minus square root 3 whole square. Now I can cancel square and square root. So what I will get 4 minus square root 3. Okay. Now what I will consider here, I will square both sides. Or let me write x minus 4 is equal to minus root 3. And what I will consider 4 minus x equal to root 3. Now consider square both sides. Okay. So a minus b whole square. a square. So 4 square plus x square minus 8x equal to 3. So it is 16. So let me write that quadratic equation. x square minus 8x, 16 minus 3, 13, equal to 0. This is a one quadratic equation. If you will observe our denominator, expressions denominator. So it is matching almost. That is 15 and, and our equation it is 15. 15 and 13. Okay. Now my job is to find out numerator's factor. See this expression factor, only numerator is my target. So how we can factorize our numerator? See this method. I am going to divide using long division method, our degree 4 polynomial and this quadratic which we have calculated, this quadratic equation. So let me show you long division. I will write x square minus 8x plus 13 and our dividend would be x power 4 minus 6x cube minus 2x square plus 18x plus 23. I will take quotient as x square x power 4 minus 8x cube plus 13x square change of sign. This term will get over. 8x cube minus 6x cube, 2x cube, minus 13 minus 2, minus 15, x square. And remaining term as it is it, as it is unchanged. Okay. Now 2x times I will take. As you can see, it is 2x cube. So I will write 2x. I will get 2x cube minus 16x square plus 13 times 2, 26x. Change of sign. This term will get over. 16 minus 15, so x square. Minus 26, so what I will get? Minus 8x and then plus 23. This is plus. Okay. Now you can see, I will take one time. So I will 
have here x square minus 8x plus 13. Change of sign. 10 we will have finally. So, what is the purpose of doing this? See the advantage benefit. I can write my numerator. Factorization of numerator. Let me write here plus 18x plus 23. It would be equal to x square minus 8x plus 13 times x square plus 2x plus 1 plus this remainder. You must be thinking that you how you can divide by that because that value is 0 x square minus 8x plus 13 is 0. My target is to achieve our numerators factor. So this is how we can find out quickly if we are not able to identify directly. Okay. Now I will write this. Okay. So I will write x square. Uh, it was x square minus 8x plus 13 in one bracket. Second bracket x square plus 2x plus 1 plus 10. Numerator task is done. And denominator is x square minus 8x plus 15. Okay. This term we are writing by this denominator is as it is. So now I am going to put the values. Values we know which value? This bracket is 0. This bracket is 0. So this term is completely 0. So I will write then after. 10 over x square minus 8x plus 15. Now we know that 13 is 0. So I will split our denominator. So I will write 10 divided by x square minus 8x plus 13 in one bracket. And what is extra? That is 2. So to maintain this term 15. Now we know that x square that we calculated in the first slide minus 8x plus 13 equal to 0. So I will put the value here. I will be having 0 plus 2. So it will give us 10 over 2 which is 5. So this way we can find out expression simplification using long division method factorization using long division. I hope you like this video. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye bye till next video.